All right, welcome to the video. Today we are going to review High Carb Hannah's monthly menu. And what does High Carb Hannah's monthly menu consist of? An upper limit of 1500 calories daily. A limit? Damn, that's Interesting, not good. Interesting, yeah. So somebody bought this monthly menu to my attention in my coaching group. And if you want to join my coaching group, Go to my website, getfitwithnatasha.com. There's one month, three month, six month, one year, or lifetime membership options available. So somebody posted, hi Cub Hannah. It was a screenshot of an Instagram story. And uh, she said there's 1500 calories daily. And then she put the link, monthlymenu.com. I saw 1500 calories and I immediately thought, wow, that's the calorie recommendation for six to eight year old children. And this is what High Carb Hannah is recommending to teens, adults, parents. Obese people. Obese Anyone. people. Athletes. <laughs> athletes, people wanting to improve their quality of life. And you know, the truth is most people into weight loss don't care about health. And that's why they do all sorts of crazy stuff. Laxative abuse, stimulant abuse, Stimulants. severely restrictive diets, keto diets, excess training. They, they don't care about their health. They just care about weight loss. Getting slim and you know, okay, fair enough. Weight loss is your goal, but you don't have to do all of that no. to get skinny. You don't have to do that to become your leanest and slimmest self based on your genetic blueprint. You don't mm. have to. So it just so happens that my protocol means you get healthy and you get lean. It's a win-win. And you have to starve. And, and you don't have to starve. <laughs> so 1,500 calories a day, wow. If I if I was doing high carb Hannah's oh my God. 1,500 calorie a day monthly menu, yeah. I, I'd, I'd be binging within two days. Uh, the first, <laughs> first dinner would be like, man, what's going on here? Yeah. Oh, actually, so if I did it the first day, I'd be uh, I'd be lying awake at night. Oh, because, yeah. There because, you go. because my cortisol would be raising as my brain's like, uh, we haven't got enough sugars today. I'm going to keep you awake so you search for the fuel that yeah, we need. For tomorrow. And then we'll be able to let you rest. That's right. So cortisol will go so up. So 1,500 calories a day is starvation. It is. And it is a recipe for disaster. And if you do do it, say for a week or two, you might think, yeah, look, it's working. The the number on the scale is going down. Well, it's, it's short-lived because you'll be binging the week after that or the month after that. And... You, you, it's cat fight. You would dehydrated as well, and your thyroid, your TSH would be going up. Oh yeah. And you'll be you craving the stims. You'd be. I need some more coffee. I need some more Ritalin. Yep. I need more Adderall, Modafinil. And uh, with High Carb Hannah, she's obviously made an amazing transformation on a plant based diet. She's, high carb. She lost yeah. something like seventy pounds a lot. eating a high carb, low fat plant based diet. But if you notice, the past few years, she yo-yos her weight a lot. Really? Because even though she's lost, she's lost so much weight. She lost 70 pounds. She's still not as skinny as she wants to be. And mm. she's never been as skinny as she wants to be. So she does the low calorie density, like the high vegetables, oh, sugar's bad, that's... protein powder. It's like, what? Is your name high carb Hannah or, or low carb should be, Hannah? Should, well, it should be low calorie. Yeah, so she's, Starvation. Uh, she's been yo-yoing her weight for the past few years. And uh, she's always just trying to lose the last 10, the last 20 pounds. Yeah. And it's not working for her because the weight will go down and she'll binge. Weight will go up because her TSH is spiked. And then she'll refeed and then she'll starve back down. And it's just an endless cycle. Yeah. A, a vicious cycle. And <sighs> Hannah, really, the only way you're going to get as skinny as you want to be is my way. The 100%. Yeah. My way. And my way, way is unlimited calories because who is she to tell you 1500 calories a day off a limit it's like no <laughs> your body will decide that your responsibility yeah. will decide that yeah. you know the more you do the more you want to get done in life for the, sure the more fuel you got to put in if you're a parent oh, that's a lot of responsibility carbohydrate we're talking you, you yeah. have to be carved up you have to eat sufficient carbohydrates to your appetite enough which will be enough carbs yeah, well, how which, much carbs which enough. enough yeah which will be enough. It's not too much, not too little, it's enough. And that your cravings, your hunger will decide that, not not your dietary plan. Yeah. Not, not, not some cap. Uh, yeah, so the, hu the human body hates 
calorie deficit. So you're starving yourself down is always a rebound. Always. Yeah. You see it you know, all, all the time in the dieting world. That's why most people who do diets gain the weight back and eventually more. That's how. Than they started with. That's right. That's how Hannah got big in the first place, dieting, yo-yos and rebounding. Yeah. So it's, a, it's really sad to see uh, that she's still stuck in this low calorie... Starvation. It's uh, an eating disorder. Low, low calorie density because it's it is... Eating an, disorder. It is an eating 100%. disorder. Because she's using stevia and protein really? powder and she's drinking coffee. Oh. And uh, in, in my honest opinion, she doesn't have the same glow that she did back in the day um, when she was doing our protocol. Yeah. Um, you know, she, I, I think she's looking tired and stressed yeah and you know that's what happens your cortisol goes up and and she has no reason to look tired and stressed because i know i know her her guy um you know we uh, uh he they they met through my community uh, i created the name high carb hannah monetized the channel got on youtube she came yeah, out about yeah. now I, I genuinely think hannah's a nice person for sure you know like she i think generally think she's a good person i don't think she's out here to to rip anyone off or to like take advantage of people's eating disorders i, I genuinely believe uh, she's stuck in an eating disorder cycle. She is know? a nice person, yeah. but she's stuck with the wrong information, which she's spreading to people. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah. 1,500 calories a day. It's going like, to Like, you imagine, imagine you're eating, you know, animal products, and you're like, I want to transition I want to transition to a plant-based <laughs> diet. And then you find the monthly menu, and she puts you on 1,500 calories oh, a day. Man. You're going to be like, oh, Vegan don't work. I'm fucking right. <laughs> Done deal. 1500 calories. I mean, I have that for lunch sometimes, yeah. breakfast. You know, I'll eat as much as I can. Four and, calories. And people ask me, Natasha, how many calories a day do you eat to be so skinny? It's like, well, what's, I your, don't what's know. your limit? Do you have a limit? <laughs> My, uh, I don't have a limit. And the truth is, nobody, nobody will ever know exactly how many calories they consume, absorb, and burn each day. That's correct. It's, it's impossible to know. Yeah. Well, you can make. Yeah, you can guess. There's estimates, but you don't know. Could be you know, a thousand calories out. Those, those freaking. Who knows? My fitness pal. People log in all their food, like banana, mango. <laughs> yeah. No, like the calorie content of fruit varies so wildly. Yeah. You can't track it. Yeah. And and I don't recommend tracking calories. Just track your fat. The only thing you should track in the beginning, on my protocol, is total daily fat grams. And that, that's easy to do. Yeah. Because then, it's, then you, you know, if you, once you've got the fat, you know, the fat low, lowered on your diet, then the fat's just going to drop off because you're going to increase your oxygen intake, up, uptake, and transfer to cells. Yeah. It and takes, uh, my, my total daily calorie intake, you know, it varies depending on what I'm doing, where I'm at in my cycle. But do you limit it? Oh, never. Do you I go, never, oh, I've eaten too much today, limits. I'm going to stop now? I never, ever limit my carbohydrates. Yeah. And you're about 50, high 55, low 56 kilos. Let's say just, you know, 56.0 kilo on average per, per day yeah, you wake I'm, up. I'm 55 to 56 kilos yeah. at 178 centimeters. Yeah, so 510. Never restricting my carbohydrate yeah, intake. Only restrict fat. And that's fruit, sugar, starches, vegan gummy candy, all of it. I mean, potatoes, No corn. stevia, no protein powder. Yep. Do you like restricted fat though? Uh, I do. I mean, what is restricted fat? Would you pour oil on your I, food? I eat enough carbohydrates so I don't crave fatty foods. Yeah. And, uh... If I made you, like, a fatty pizza, would you eat it? No. When Maybe I once or twice a pizza, year. I yeah. tell them, don't pour oil on it. That's right. So you fat restrict. I do. I do fat restrict. Yeah. And fat restriction is really easy to do when you eat sufficient and it gives you And it gives you a clear skin as well. Yeah. And, uh... And, uh... You wearing any foundation today? No. Okay. It's a, it's the way to get slim and lean without lying awake at night, hungry, without drinking another coffee, popping another pill. Sleeping pills. To try and suppress your appetite. You know, I, I know Hannah tries to bulk. She tries to bulk up her stomach. <laughs> that doesn't work. And like, you can max out the stretch receptors in your stomach with vegetables, but you haven't satisfied your nutrient receptors. Yeah. You can eat all of the greens. You can have a big bloated chimp gut. Yeah. Like Dr. Gregor. Yeah. But you're still going to be wanting sweet and starchy. The, the funny thing is, is, is uh, Hannah's husband, Derek, she, he, he got into the vegan world for me. And yeah. uh, they introduced, uh, introduced by, you know, through my community. 
Derek, man, he cranks the carbs, man. He yeah. is a machine. That dude cranks it, man. He's not. He, he Derek. I've seen Derek eat like two thousand calories in a meal before. Yeah, wow. And he's lean, man. So mm -hmm. I think that Hannah should just eat exactly like Derek eats. You know, minus the fatty foods, if he's eating that now and then. Yeah. And then uh, he'll. They should be cranking, and just just get get into fitness, get into cycling more, so you get more oxygen into your body. It's not yeah. about burning calories; it's yeah. about getting oxygen. In. If I'm honest, you seem so stuck in Kiko world. Sad, because um, I think she's a good person. Yeah. I don't think Hannah's out there to rip anyone off or scam people like other people are. We just think she's genuinely she, stuck in that psycho CICO rut. But how, how can she genuinely think that promoting 1,500 calories a day is good, sustainable, and healthy? Because it's totally not. Because she believes in that crap. It's not. She believes in that crap, though. You know? She does. She should so, know yeah, better, she, but she doesn't. She, She's lost a lot of weight, but now she's doing the yo-yo. But the quality of life, you know? Does she look happy? Yo-yo, Hannah. You know? Yeah. Does she look happy, you know? So. I that's... mean, you just have to ask yourself, you know? If you're like, oh, whose who's protocol should I follow? Just look at the results, you know? <laughs> you got Natasha over here, supermodel BMI, no cocaine. Yeah. You know, like no no stims and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you've done it a few times a year, but it's not not a routine thing, you know? And so it's like... What are you going to do? You know, you're going to do that? Or are you going to do Starvation Nation? Yeah. You know? And if you feel good being fit as well, don't you? Your energy's good. And oh, yeah. Just, you know, you get passion. You feel I, like you get shit done. I can't starve myself. I can't. No, no. And I never will. Yeah, and you can <laughs> see that in the clear Natasha's faces. You know, what makeup are you wearing today? Um, what, what's I'm on wearing there? mascara. Mascara. And a bit of lipstick. And that's it. It's like a very clear, clear complexion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Very clear complexion. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to add? Uh... Go to my website, getfitwithnatasha.com, and we will get you on track. Message to Hannah. To results that you never thought possible. Exactly. A message. Because people that implement my protocol from day one, they feel better. Exactly. Like, That's Natasha. No okay. doubt about that. But like, Natasha, I feel the best I have in years. It's incredible. <laughs> and they're like, I finally am seeing the light. Yeah. I'm enjoying my life. And that's from day one. Imagine in one month, one year, ten years. Yeah, like imagine if you were coaching High Carb Hannah. Oh, yeah. You know? I, I'd get her the results. I coached on YouTube She'd and she got mad beaming. YouTube success. She'd yeah. be absolutely beaming. Yeah. She'd be like flaunting a super tight skinny body around. Yeah, she would. <laughs> she would. I coached on YouTube and got a cranking. You, you could coach her on a, on a thing. Maybe All she'll right. listen to a girl for that. Anyway. Come on, Hannah. Carb up. Get it done. Carb up. Stop the starvation nation calorie restriction. Be strict with your fat intake. Restrict your fat intake. Carb up. Go out and hang out with Derek. 100 calories a day? Doesn't work. Never.